The next morning, the peaceful stillness was shattered by the cry of a distressed animal. Clarkson! How's it going everyone? JKXVX here, back on Forza Horizon 4 once again. The McLaren Speedtail is now in Forza Horizon 4. In today's video, I'm going to show you the quickest way to unlock the McLaren Speedtail, which is a lot different to usual, so keep an eye out for that. And then we're going to have a look at the top speed of the Speedtail. We're going to fully upgrade it and just see what the Speedtail is like. But it's mainly because it's a speed car. We're going to be taking a look at how fast it can be with upgrades and without upgrades and stuff like that. Very quickly, once again, before I get into it, I'm going to start doing more Twitch streams from now on. We're going to start doing them again. But warning, not all of them are going to be on Forza. Whatever I feel like playing at the time, I will go and play on Twitch, because why not? And it seems like schools, colleges and universities are going to be closed at some point with the way the world's going. So, uh, yeah, that's another reason for me to stream a lot. Everyone's going to be at home. My Twitch is in the description. Jumping straight into it, the McLaren Speedtail is only available for one week through summer when you reach 50%. Now, reaching 50% is a little bit different this week. In fact, there is a certain way you can do it to unlock it quicker than what you would usually do. So right now I'm going to list which ones you do to get exactly 50% doing the least amount of races in the fastest time possible. So here is what you do. To get to 50% completion, you have to do the following. Do the weekly Fortathon challenge, which is in a retro hot hatch. I recommend the Honda Civic RS. That will get you, I think, 12% or 11%. I think they've changed the percentages a bit, but that'll get you a decent amount. Then once you've done that, head over to here and do the three seasonal PR stunts. This week, all of them are actually pretty easy. Each of these, I think, will give you 6%. Then once you've done those, which are very easy and quick, do the monthly rivals. This is also quick, and I believe this is another around 6%. As I said, this is the method to get it the quickest. You probably will have accidentally have done this as well. If you haven't, do this manually, two drafting skills. And once you've done all of these, you'll notice that you are now at 37%. Now, you can do this seasonal event, then I'll get you another 6%, up to 43%. Then another seasonal event here, which will give you another 6%. This will put you on 49%. Now the trick here is not to do another seasonal event because it just takes ages. If you go over to the Horizon Story, complete one chapter, that'll get you 1% towards the 50. So instead of doing a seasonal event, which is three races, you're only doing one small chapter for a story. Very easy. And that will get you 50% as you can see on screen and it will get you the McLaren Speedtail. That's definitely the fastest way to do it. So enough babbling on, let's have a look at the McLaren Speedtail. Now instantly I'm... Ooh, I like that. That looks similar to the McLaren P1, the uh, Volcano Orange I believe it's called. Quite like the red though. Now straight away let's have a look at the Speedtail stock. Supposedly it does 250 miles an hour. So let's have a look. It's sort of got the same sound as all of the other McLarens, but it is a tiny bit different. Not enough though. Straight away, the interior is cool because it's got a centre driving position. I'm sure most of you knew that anyway. Handles smoothly. The brakes are also good if you, you know, if, if you use them. The thing that we all want to know though is the top speed. Probably 250 miles an hour stock. Let's have a look. Oh. You can definitely tell it's been limited to 250. 251, 252, 253, 54, 5, Jesus, 6, 7, 8. Holy cow. 258 miles an hour. And it still handles, well, sort of. We don't care about that. We want to fully upgrade it. So let's have a look at the upgrades. Now I've heard it goes up to 1,350 something horsepower, something like that. Now the question is, what kind of top speed does that give it? What's the acceleration like? Let's have a ganders. So conversion, we can make it all wheel drive. We're not going to do that because we are not weird. Front bumper, now why would you do that? Let's just fully upgrade everything, including the brakes. Can we slam it? Yes, we can slam it a wee bit. Get some weight reduction on that bad boy. 
1,362 horsepower with 1,263 kilograms. So over a thousand horsepower per ton. That's pretty beastly. Whoa, it's, it picks up. God. Oh, that was close. And that. Oh, I made it. Let's keep going. Terrible shifts, but it doesn't really matter. Two seventy. Two seven one. Really, it just hits a brick wall at two seven one. Two hundred and seventy one miles an hour. That's it. That's crazy power, that is. Once it grips, it goes like mental. That is crazy fast. Now, see, it's hard to give it an acceleration test just because it wheel spins so much. So I want to see if anyone's got an all wheel drive tune anywhere. Uh, probably won't say, oh, all wheel drive. Uh, that one. Let's do this one just to see how fast the acceleration actually is. Let's have a ganders. Right, here we go. Launch control. And go. <laughs> That's so fast. Oh, of course, it's only got six gears at all wheel drive. That is very fast. Let's do some timings. And it still feel like it handles as well, even as all-wheel drive. Whatever lunatic made this tumour for some reason decided to not change the final drive. Holy cow! Look at the size of those exhaust pipes. Hang on, we need to get under the car. Bear with me, we need to get under it. <laughs> That'll do. <laughs> From here, they just look like normal. But when you tilt around, you'll just see they're massive. Holy cow. Look at it. Look at it just flying, bless him. Ooh. Well, that for a thumbnail. That'll confuse people, won't it? Something I have just realised, 0 to 60 in two seconds flat stock. That's pretty impressive. That was probably the fastest 0 to 60 stock time in the game. Out of curiosity, we're going to do a drag run as well to see what kind of time it can get. Now, I always forget what... Wow, that's a lot of turning angle. Jesus. I always forget what is a normal fast drag time, but let's have a look. What can this do? I don't know what the gear ratios are on this tune. That was pretty terrible. <laughs> I'm just going to try my own drag tune up. Do what I can, I'm not the best at drag tunes, but we'll see what kind of time we can get. Jesus, 1.8 seconds to 100 miles an hour. That is crazy speeds. That's better. Oh, that was also eight seconds flat. Well, for me, that seemed like all I'm gonna get. I'll try once more, see if I can beat eight seconds. Oh, I think that was 7.9. That's all I can manage anyway. Seems like a decent... Oh, it was 8 seconds. The 0-60 is crazy. I'm going to pop the real 0-60 time on the screen. That's impressive. As we did last time, I want to have a quick... If it lets me, of course it wouldn't let me. Why would it let me? Nothing likes me. It revs really quickly. <laughs> Oh, look at all the buttons on the roof and all. I've only just noticed that. That's pretty cool. What we got up there? Velocity. Oh, is that the velocity mode? That is cool. And then, of course, the three seats. Not the most exciting interior in the world, but what more can you ask for with a 1,000 whatever horsepower car? So, yeah, I'm not going to drag this on for too long. We've had a look at top speed. We've had a look at it fully upgraded, drag, just the overall having a look at the car. And it's pretty cool. Not going to bother doing any races of it. We already know it's going to be mental. We've also shown you how to get this car very quickly. Jesus, it's really fast. 
Again, if you want this car, watch the beginning of the video. It's definitely the quickest way to do it. Saves you a good few races. That's the McLaren Speedtail for you. Leave a like if you've enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Come back for more content. And I'll see you all later.